if your heart instead of your head could decide how to spend your life, where would you be? You were created to do the things you love when they're appropriate. When your heart is full and joyful, this reflects in your body, mind, and spirit. Your life, will, your, life your body, your mind, your spirit, all of you together will be more fulfilled when you make choices that come from your heart. 19. Cook up a dish. Nourish yourself. Use starlight and candlelight to get a state of peace and reflection, of calm. Create a game. Move into the sunshine. There is nurture in nature. Celebrate the world around you by writing a poem about it. Get your hands in the dirt. Do some gardening, even if it's just a little tiny pot plant. Bring nature into your home through plants around the house and pets. Number 20, water has a soothing effect. Let your negativity and fear and worry be washed away as you focus on the soothing surface of some water. Spend some time in nature. 21. Taking good care of yourself is, for many, I know it was for me for a long time, the hardest thing to do. Because of a lifetime of negative messages to the contrary, most people find it hard to put their needs first. Self-care is the most important thing in your life because you are the most important person in your life. You cannot successfully nurture your soul if you don't nurture the body it inhabits. Number 22, leave some time for you. When my therapist first told me this, I thought, how am I gonna get any time for me when I have to do da 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 Well, she told me, make a schedule, remembering that you don't have to change everything all at once. You're creating a, a art for your life, a, 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 either a picture or a painting or just some pieces of anything with uh, texture. Okay. This is not about making time. It is about making happiness. Number 23, think about what you want to receive and then go find a sample gift to give yourself. You don't have to get it right then. Just think about it and go see about it. You can take a bath and maximize your relaxation time. Uh, maybe you'll feel better in the tub with bubbles. Maybe not. Give your inner child a squirt gun, maybe, and some rubber, rubber ducks to play with. Whatever, however you can relax in your adult self and allow your child self to really enjoy itself. Every kid knows how to do that. <laughs> Let your inner kid show you. Number 24, start a food journal as you choose what's good for you. Figure out what your needs in body, mind, and spirit are. Make a habit to take the time for yourself and ask yourself, how are you feeling? Don't edit your emotions so what you are feeling is going to fit into what somebody else thinks you need to be feeling. Number 25, supplement your diet with enthusiasm. Inspiration is the greatest gift because it opens your life to many new possibilities. When you are guided by what inspires you, your life becomes enhanced. Find a role model, someone who inspires you. 26, do some breathing exercises. Now put on some uh, nice soft music for inspiration. Pain in our lives is necessary. This is number 27. It's life's uh, gift 
it, it's life's gift to us, even though it's unwanted, to lose someone or something that was very important to us. And this can lead us not only to a different life, but a richer, authentic, more rewarding one. We must always surrender the old to begin the new. Okay, 28. Tools for healing. Make a treasure chest. Plant a seed. Decide to give something to someone. Keep your mind open to the future. If we choose to let them, our negative experiences can become our teachers. 29. Animals are great teachers. There is no better role model than a furry creature for demonstrating forgiveness, tolerance of others, and acceptance of criticism. They truly teach us how to respect shapes and forms of life, and they confirm that the capacity to love, feel, and reason is not limited to our species alone. Choose a favorite animal for yourself if you don't already have one. Choose one now. Write down a list of the characteristics and personality traits that attract you to this specific creature. You could adopt a pet or care for one that is injured until it gets well, opening your home and your heart. You can also play fetch, uh, take the pet with you when you go someplace, and play with this wonderful furry thing. You'll find that you enjoy it as much as your pet does. Number 30, there is a universal language that's symbols. And you can draw samples and, and anyone can understand. Take the time and attention to your dreams to uh, understand what the symbol, symbols could mean in your life. Because thinking about uh, the mysteries of the mind is not all there is to it. The connecting your dreams to what's going on in your life is very important. Uh, number 31, you can start a dream journal. Everyone in your dreams is part of you. Write down all the images and experiences in as much detail as you can remember. It is as if you're explaining your dream to someone who has no idea what you're talking about. So describe everything. Pay close attention to repetitive dreams for deeper messages about your life. 32. As you walk along what I believe, what you believe to be your divine path through life, pay attention to the messages you receive during your everyday activities to see that you are on the right track. Pick a symbol to reaffirm if you are on the right track your simple guide to you that you are going in the right direction. So pick that symbol with care. Number 33, motivation is not a matter of willpower. It is a matter of thinking power. Paul Karasik wrote that. Make a reward system for yourself. Make room for the, uh, something new in your life. Read something each day. Remember to take one step at a time. In the recovering community with our baby steps, that's what we call this, baby steps. They're fun. And if you do just baby steps, you'll get there just fine. Number 34, volunteer. Find a place in your community where you can help those who cannot help themselves. <sighs> To learn to uh, care for yourself is it's very important. And helping someone who cannot help themselves is giving you compassion when you think about living in someone else's shoes. Number 33, five. Remember what you, uh, what you want for your core beliefs and be willing to stand 
for what you believe in. Tell others, write about it, lobby for the truth, the things that you want changed. 36. Spiritual calisthenics. I laughed when I heard this because I was thinking about my little spirit trying to do calisthenics. Many of you um, uh, don't even know, have never partaken of all the prophets and the sages of the past, such as Jesus. The, all of these people set good examples of how you can live spiritually while not being overly focused on rituals and theology. I believe organ, organized religions are important, and I have learned much from them about how to live, but the spiritual calisthenics that are most helpful are non-denominational exercises that anyone can practice to live a better life. Follow them for one day from morning to evening. You can meditate while walking or listening to music or reading or reading words of wisdom and the result can be the same. A great meditation always leads you to a higher state of consciousness or a new level of awareness. Remember, you don't have to follow uh, a rigid format to accomplish a, he a healthy meditation. Number 37, what is your role? We all have many roles in our life as parent, child, um, teacher, lover, sister or brother, grandmother, grandfather. We all have a greater role as well because we are all part of this spiritual whole. Make a storage box for your fears. When you experience a fear, write it down and put it in the box. Let go of it. I, I like to put it in my hand and give it to Jesus, but having a box to put it in is also a concrete thing to do. This is how you can release the fear so that you can look at what caused it in the first place. 38. A remember to live by a reminder to live by is that uh, the appropriate resources are in place now and you can gather these and you can accept or deny whatever they are. You choose what you would like. This will help you. Your life, and you can live your life more fully in the time you have left. My mom wrote down everything she wanted in her funeral. I was with her and we picked out the cas her casket. She wrote down the music she would like to have performed at her funeral. It was so comforting for my sister and I because we didn't have to do any of those decisions about the funeral. We honored everything she wrote down and it felt so good not to have to worry about all those decisions. My husband and I have already planned our funerals and we are planning to begin paying for our funerals next year. That way everything is done for our funeral, leaving all of our children to relax and grieve and enjoy any of the people that are left as they get through our deaths. Number 39, make a collage, create a story, do some photography, paint a mural, take a lot of scraps and make something out of it. Keep balance in your life between your individual needs and the world around you, if at all possible. The CEO of Coca-Cola Enterprises shared this idea. He said, imagine life as a game in which you are juggling five balls into the air. Work, family, health, friends, and spirit. Imagine that work is a rubber ball, so if you drop it, it will bounce back. Then imagine family, health, friends, and spirit are made of glass. If you drop one of these balls, they will be irre irrevocably scuffed, marked, nicked, damaged, or even shattered. You must understand and strive for balance in your life. Balance your goals developing a well-rounded um, sense of your entire life. Break 
out of your routine. Play Frisbee. When I read this, I laughed. I saw myself playing Frisbee. I'm 72 and I'm not real graceful anymore. 40, there are no mistakes. The obstacle course of your life, you have power with you doing what you need to do with and for yourself. No matter what the circumstances of your life, you always have a choice about how you perceive them. Your obstacle course can be filled with uh, lots of awful things, or you can be on a mar marathon obstacle course that you are determined to complete. The same experiences is like, is it a race or a disease? This will all be experienced differently by each individual. You decide how the experience will affect you based upon your attitude toward life. Honor your relationships. Make it a practice, make up a practice survival kit. What would you put in it? Love yourself and honor your whole reflection. Remember to rest and seek peace. 41. Thanks to Dr. Bernie Siegel for these wonderful reminders about the choices we have as we live our life. Thank you again for joining us here at Living Better ITV. I'm Dr. Charlene Sprouse and I've enjoyed being here with you today. I'll see you in one of the, our next sessions. Be blessed.